Felix. I've been averaging somewhere around three or four weeks with each GJ before they flip. I've had some flip just at the very end and it folds back on itself, makes it hard to flush, feed gets clogged all the time. Um, it's painful especially when I'm trying to flushing it because I have to use so much pressure to try to flush it. Um, so I had that one changed. Oh, I don't even know when. And then the last one, I knew it was mostly in my stomach. So... I had the tube study done and 99% of it was in my stomach and like there was tubing like up at the top and so everything hurt and then of course it takes forever to get everything scheduled to have it exchanged and since I have to be um, totally put under <clears throat> to have tube changes done I have to be intubated for it and because the reflux is so bad and we're worried I'm going to aspirate during the procedure and have problems and then having to deal with well apparently there's some people that can have tube changes like this and it takes 15 minutes so that is not my anatomy so I'm normally under two, two and a half hours. And then it's huge amounts of anesthesia and trying to get all of it out of my system and whatnot afterwards. Thursday, I had it exchanged, it took two and a half hours, and the first few days afterwards, I don't even want to feed through it because, trust me, I feel every minute I'm under and how much maneuvering and whatnot they're having to do to get it in place and that's with general anesthesia and everything is totally relaxed when it happens and so that was Thursday and Friday was nice because I can feed without problems and then Saturday Saturday was okay I was just super tired my whole body is tired
and then Sunday well I'm on this medication that's trying to help everything work in my GI tract And of course the side effects suck. And my GI and cardiology greatly encouraged me to try to stay on it and see if the side effects would lessen. Which is quite a joke when it comes to my body. We started at like a half dose, which isn't even a therapeutic dose of the meds, and they made me sick immediately. So I was supposed to stay on the half dose for five days, and then up it to the full dose. So I stayed on the half dose for two weeks, and the side effects never went away. And at that point, my tube was already screwed anyways. So, I... And, like, the side effects are... Horrible nausea. Vomiting. <sighs> diarrhea. So there goes all the rest of my extra water. Oh, man. So I decided to go up to the full dose because why not? So about two weeks ago I went up to the full dose. All it did was make me sicker. Side effects aren't getting any better. Ugh, it makes me feel so sick all the time. Kills my appetite. I'm super car sick. And it's like my insides are just like one huge muscle cramp. Which is partly why the tubes keep messing up. So So I'm still on the meds to try to keep my GI tract going. So Sunday I just took it really easy and held the couch down and watched movies. like Sunday evening things already felt weird and I can tell when my tube starts pulling back into my stomach it doesn't make any sense but it changes the temperature of my stomach when it's colder I don't know if it has to do with the plastic of the tube or what it is but it's a very distinct change so I went to bed last night, like hoping that it would just settle, but all of the cramping and all that, like it's 24 hours a day. And I'm taking the meds three times a day, so I take the first dose at 6.30 and I'm sick until afternoon and then I take my second dose at 1 and I'm sick until 6 o'clock or so and I take my last dose at 7.30 so anytime it almost like lessens like I take another dose of it and 
when I woke up this morning. And flushed my tube and I wanted to drain my stomach because I've had so much stomach bile lately. And it just makes me feel so sick. And my hiatal hernia is messed up too. So I'm having reflex really bad on top of all of the other things. <sighs> so I attached and drained my stomach and nothing happened. Which is never a good sign. And so I hooked up to my J to flush that when it started draining stomach contents. So I fully flipped a tube in three days. And I really needed this one to just last a little while. <sighs> so I talked to my GI today, told her that it was flipped. And I'm going to go tomorrow and have an x ray done. And just confirm where it is so I have an idea and when I talked to my GI about it she said that she just got the notes this morning on the procedure and they put in there that exchanges are incredibly difficult because of my anatomy not being normal and they highly recommend we find an alternative because I'm exposed to so much radiation during the exchanges because it's taking like 10 times longer than it's supposed to so no. We're moving forward with a second tube. So I'll have a G and I'll have a direct J. But it's another surgery. And the last surgery had me so messed up. And it took almost eight months for the complications to subside. And I nearly lost my mind on the last one. Oh, man. But I met a new general surgeon last Friday. And I really liked him. And we're talking about possibilities of kinds of tube and what procedure we're going to do. And he's going to put my port in at the same time. But I have to get one of my doctors to get off their ass and actually authorize it. And I'm going to have to wait until I get into palliative care to talk to them about everything. <sighs> and I can't get in to see them until the 30th, so like three weeks from now. Maybe that'll give me enough time to get my head around the other surgery. Oh. Oh, this is 
so not easy. But I need something to be easy. <sighs> anyway. So. Not good. <sighs> it's like picking between hard choices and hard choices and everything has consequences and side effects and complications and everything else. Ugh. Even sprites have a hard day sometimes. Oh, hopefully tomorrow will be better. <sighs>